Many people know Goodwill because of the thrift stores. But there's so much more to this organization than that. First, let's start with the people who work here. One of the great things about Goodwill is that the company provides jobs to those who might otherwise be considered unemployable. About 60% of the workforce here is considered to be handicapped or has some type of barrier. A barrier meaning they're in some way unemployable. In other words, they may not speak English or have some other barrier we can't necessarily see. The people working here are making money for their production. Everybody here gets a paycheck. We pay them by the amount of work they produce. That way, someone who is very limited in what they can do can still earn money, but someone who is quite capable can earn more benefiting their talents. Goodwill employs about 500 people throughout Kansas. About 170 of them work at this facility. Kier is one of those people. I was, I was born with a brain damage with the forceps. He's been working here for 10 years. If it wasn't for Goodwill, Kier says his life would certainly be a lot different. I don't know what we're going to do, but we probably lost everything. People be having no jobs and be, it'd be like a homeless. And they may not be homeless, but at the very least, most of them would be home, sitting on the couch, watching TV all day. And today, everybody's allowed to contribute to the best of their abilities. Which means they're making money and adding to the economy rather than just taking money from it. Everyone who works here makes a paycheck. Even the most severely handicapped person who works here gets a paycheck. And that means a lot to employees like Marie. Why do you like coming here? Uh, just to make money, of course. Earning a paycheck means more than just money, though. But what a paycheck does do is increase your self-esteem. Even if that paycheck just lets you go to the movies and McDonald's, I did it myself. I earned that money and I did it myself and a month doesn't go by that one of our participants doesn't come up and say, look, look how much money I made this month. There's nothing like that feeling. They know they earned it. It wasn't given to them. It wasn't out of pity. It was because they worked for it and they earned it. And most do spend it. Every job that someone has here contributes not only to the worldwide economy, it contributes to the income of goodwill that helps pay for the programs that help them. So it's a wonderful cycle. So what does Marie spend her money on? Uh, grocery shopping. Uh, sometimes I spend it on uh, something else too. And every, every other Saturday I'd go out to eat and stuff like that. Rather than going to movies and out to eat, Kier has other plans for his paycheck. Like a lot of us, he's infatuated with the latest technology. I spent, I just, I'm trying to do my save on some money, but I'm trying to get the, the Samsung Galaxy, you know, I like tablet phones, I'm, a, I'm hooked on now. Money isn't the only benefit of working here though. Whether they realize it or not, these employees are gaining other skills as well. But that's yeah. some of the skills that people learn. How do you get along oh, with each other? The coworkers. How do you solve a problem? Oh, How do you wow. resolve something other than physically? Okay. And these are lessons oh, wow. that we can teach in occupational work like this. Many of these employees, once they're trained, go on to work for other companies like Walmart or Dillon's. We have some turnover in the stores. It's a good thing because we're moving those people into better jobs. Goodwill's focus is always vocational. We want people to be able to produce the best they can with the abilities that they have so that they can be self-sufficient. You've seen how Goodwill impacts its employees, but let's see how the business, and yes, it is a business, operates. It's very important that our retail side of the operation makes dollars because we have to support our programs. So Goodwill is a business. One way Goodwill makes money is by partnering with major corporations. Our contract work is a wonderful area because it allows us to help other people in the community. We do work for Hawker Beechcraft and we make insulation blankets. Westar, uh, Donlinger Construction, we make their safety vests for them. Agco, uh, we make lubrication pumps for them that end up in hay balers. They also have what they call a fiber contract. This is an interesting contract because of the fact that the skills get more difficult. But everybody who works on the contract gets paid by production, which means that even the people who can only fill maybe a bag an hour get some sort of a paycheck to take home because this fiber is then shipped out all over the country where it's used to fortify cement. Marie has worked on a lot of different contract jobs here at Goodwill, but says she loves working in the fiber area the most. What, what's your favorite job that you've done? 
Mm, well, recently I kind of enjoy ceiling. This is another contract program that's been a huge success for them. Our sewing contract has grown tremendously. It began with one employee's idea to make dog clothes out of clothing they couldn't sell in the stores. Today we're making safety vests for the Department of Transportation in Kansas. We're also making uh, scrubs, medical scrubs, that we're selling to various places throughout the country as well. What you're looking at now are jail uniforms. Goodwill just got that contract this year. Well, the good part about contracts like the sewing contract is the more contracts like that we can get producing necessary products, the more people we can employ. And the more people we employ, the more we're helping our community because the dollars they make here go back into the community, which is fabulous. Absolutely nothing goes to waste here. While making safety vests for humans, many of these seamstresses had to do a few practice runs to get used to using this slippery fabric. Using those scraps, they made dog safety vests. And those are selling quite well in our stores because you can't lose your dog when he has one of these safety vests on. The employees do top quality work here. In fact, it's so high quality, they've been ISO certified. ISO certification is a quality rating. What that means is we meet a certain level of qualifications. We check where our materials come. They have to reach a certain level. We track our materials so that we can tell you what roll of fabric that piece came from. We can tell you which person actually touched it. We can tell you the exact time it was shipped. So if there's a problem, we know where to go back and find out what the issue was and how to fix it. That's extremely valuable to major companies. Our morale is higher. The quality of our product is better than ever, and we've been really excited with the good it's done for Goodwill. Even the part of Goodwill the majority of people are familiar with has a few secrets to reveal. When most people think of Goodwill, they think of the thrift stores like this one. Once donations are dropped off, they're brought here where employees separate them into items that can be sold in the store and those that can't. Some people are afraid to donate things that aren't in perfect condition, but as you're about to see, nothing you donate is ever wasted. Here we're taking the items that didn't make the cut, our salvage items, and we have employees that are cutting those t-shirts and other items up into rags. Those rags are then sorted into colored and white piles and are bagged into one or five pound packages. And they're sold throughout the state. Paint shops, warehouses, things that just literally need a rag. That way these items don't end up in the landfill and they're ser serving a useful purpose. So everything that we can recycle can be reused and that's just being responsible and taking care of the earth. They've even found a way to use shoes that don't have a mate. We get a tremendous number of shoes that are not quite in the condition we can put in the stores. And what we'll do is sort those shoes and pair the ones that we can, wrap them in a rubber band and put them in one stack, and the ones that are singles go in another stack. Then we can sell them for pennies on the pound to merchants outside of Goodwill. The single shoes go into a recycling program that reuses the parts to make other products. Another great program makes use of one product that seems to keep stacking up in our storage areas. The Delray Connect program allows us to accept donations of used computers, old computers that you don't want anymore, old printers, things that we all collect in our basements because we're scared to throw them away. Dell then cleans them up and either recycles them or properly disposes of them. Now here's a little tidbit that very few people know. And if you're watching this show, you're going to have a huge advantage. Yes. A hidden secret for shoppers like you and me, Sierra. Shopgoodwill.com is Goodwill's version of eBay. Shopgoodwill.com is unique in that we cannot advertise anything that we have not verified. So you'll notice on this particular ring, it says that it is, where is it? Has a total weight. Oh, here it is. Size six yellow gold ring mark 14K with faceted pale purple stone. Now, can't say what to me it kind of looks like an amethyst, but we, don't te we didn't have a tester at the time, so we don't say anything on there that we don't know. And you can go there. I have seen coach shoes. I have seen uh, Gucci sunglasses. We have sold diamond rings. Uh, there's a story about a painting that was sold, I believe, on the West Coast for $56,000. Whether you use shopgoodwill.com, donate, or shop in their stores, you're actually supporting all of these programs. 
And when I first went to shop at Goodwill, I thought, oh, I'm stealing from people that really need this. That's not the truth. What you're doing is helping contribute to people who really need stuff. So it's a treasure hunt.